what better way to learn to replace a kitchen sink garbage disposal than with Viking Christmas music? Step one, get your tools. Hammer and nails. I bring both to every project so that I can look cute and I can hit things if they don't go the way they're supposed to. Woo! Are you dizzy yet? I thought I hit pause and I didn't. We got our screwdriver, our wrench, our Allen wrench, and the parts that came with the disposal. Also got the lugs and flanges and a boatload of instructions and one little helper. Hello. And this is the new bad boy, the Incinerator Badger, three fourths horsepower. Stick what in where? The Allen wrench into the mounting lug. It says turn right. I'm probably gonna need both hands so that I can catch this when it drops. Well, that's silly. First, we wanna turn off the power and probably the water, and then we wanna disconnect these pipes before we actually drop this guy out. So this one goes to the dishwasher that I never use. This one goes to the sewer, the drain. So we'll get those out first. I'm trying to decide if I'm actually gonna hook this one back up or if I'm gonna leave it for the future. Channel locks are a girl's best friend. Get you a pair. So that sucker twisted right off. Didn't even need the Allen wrench. And this dishwasher tube thing just pulled right out. This might be even easier than I hoped. And we're gonna play a little bit of electrician. So my question is, why on earth am I having to wire the plug? Like, why wouldn't it just come with a plug? I'm having to pull this out of here with a black wire, a white wire, and a ground green wire, and I'm gonna have to wire it into this one. But why wouldn't they each just come with their own? It's just a plug that goes into the wall. Cheapies. Now if you can't tell which of these two is gonna be hot and neutral, Sometimes you're going to have to strip back some of the rubber if they're too old. So, you got your handy dandy wire strippers and cutters. Sponsor me. And sometimes that still doesn't help because there's no indication. To wire two wires together, you just put them together, you twist them, like so. Then you put a wire nut on there and you just twist it as hard as you can until they're all twisted together. Easy peasy. I bring you together today to work properly and not burn down the house. Boop. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. And then you pop the new one back on there. Just twist it right in. Make sure this pipe is here. Twist that nice and tight too. And I guess we can plug it in and test it out. Hope that I wired it right. Oh, that didn't pop, so that's a good sign. Always put a drip pan just in case it does leak or something isn't tight like it's supposed to be. Moment of truth. No! Round two, fight. <laughs> these instructions don't make any good sense. And look at all these parts. It looked so easy. But there's no threading on this other end. Something's amiss. So plumbing is a skilled trade for a reason. There is a lot of magic involved. Check this out. We have a pipe that just slips onto another pipe. It doesn't actually fit. And there's no threads on this one. So this guy just comes on and off. And you're like, well, how do they attach? Well, the weird thing is this magic little rubber washer here 
when you squeeze the two together with it, it won't move. It's magic. That's your tip of the day for plumbing. <sighs> We're halfway there. Oh, need a lot of prayer. Plumbing is a true art form, I swear. Oh, this has been a bear. Remember that one time you kicked the plumbing in the face? Yeah, me neither. So it got me in round two. But I'm going to win round three. Because I want to believe you when you tell me that it'll be okay. But will it, though? I want to believe you. But I don't. You say that it's gonna be, but it always turns out to be a different way. Plumbing is sneaky, but I'm gonna get it tomorrow. The plumbing got me today, but only today, today, today. So tomorrow I will go to Home Depot. I will return all the expensive, snaky, long, gray pieces that we put together today. And then, I thought I hit pause again and I didn't. <laughs> and then I'm going to put it together properly because you can't really rig stuff together. And it bugs when other people do it and then you find it later. And I just can't do that. So I'm going to do it right. When the plumbing beats you in round two, don't beat yourself up. There's always tomorrow. And if you sat on the floor too long and your knees got all creaky like the Tin Man... Sometimes you just got to lubricate your own joints. Cheers. Because we going to win round three with the plumbing. Oh, burqueñas for life. And as per usual, thank you for joining me as I fly through life by the seat of my pants. I hope you enjoy some tips and tricks, some inspiration, some struggles, some giggles. And I hope you realize that it's okay to mess up and keep going. That's just life. It's a roller coaster. You gotta enjoy the stress of the ups and the stress of the downs and the giggles in between. And I don't know who said this quote, but it's one of my favorites. That life is not only meant to be enjoyed, but it's meant to be shared. So thank you for sharing these moments with me. The good, the bad, and the ugly. We got this. So I ended up getting somebody stronger than me to unscrew the part of the sink underneath. I got a new tool to cut some PVC and I'm gonna just get this thing done. Tired. I guess that's a success. Got it. This doesn't do it. I'm probably gonna have to call for help. Moment of truth. It might have worked. YouTube told me the true test was to fill up both sinks though and then let them go and pray that it doesn't flood your kitchen. Don't forget to stop and smell the roses. 
kiss a cute little ninja. All right, here we go. Please don't let it leak. Please don't let it leak. Now I can wash all my dishes that have been stacking up. 